called upon for a relief cruise while the fire lasted. The inauguration of the Voortrekker Monument near Pretoria made very big news throughout South Africa. Approaching the encampment from all over the country, dispatch riders near the end of their journeys on Dingen's Day, the day which commemorates the defeat by the trekkers a part of Zulu Chief Dingen's army in 1838. This was a highlight of the great trek by the Afrikaners which led to success in founding their republic. A typical Voortrekker woman is a feature of the huge monument, which includes other historic tributes to the trekkers, and is surrounded by a wall illustrating a lager of wagons. Dingen's Day has long been kept as a holiday in the Union, but this year, of course, it was a particularly big celebration. As the crowd of spectators assembled, it was interesting to see the wide variety of beards which have been cultivated specially for the occasion. Over 30,000 people gathered in the huge amphitheatre to attend the inauguration ceremony and there was folk dancing on the grand scale. Then came speeches by Dr. Milan, South Africa's Prime Minister, and by Field Marshal Smuts, the opposition leader. Finally, the great moment when six boys and six girls, dressed in the costumes of a century ago, entered the monument. From the dome, exactly at noon, a shaft of light illuminated the words Sud Africa, part of the inscription in Afrikaans meaning, We are for you, South Africa. Certainly a worthy tribute to the men and women of the great trek. <laughs> 